Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the podcast that talks about businesses and growing businesses in Idaho. I think the, the only one that focuses on that in Idaho. <laughs> Anyways, let's go forward today. Let's go. Let's stay positive. Let's uh, let's have that outlook that we want to have uh, going into this new week. And uh, what, what what can we what can we do to generate some success this week and and uh, to visualize that for ourselves and for our companies and for our teams. Uh, as always, uh, we're sponsored by Health Health West. These guys are a remarkable organization uh, helping people. Uh, all around Idaho, uh, especially within uh, even the smaller cities, uh, you know, Preston, Aberdeen, um, I believe American Falls. You know, there's there's so many, and they just they just uh, bought into a few other cities uh, that uh, they're just growing and and helping as many people as they possibly can. Uh, they're a great organization. So go on uh, if you need any uh, medical assistance, go and go and see them. So. Um, as always, you know, I I had a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys had a, a fantastic weekend. I had a, a good weekend hanging out with my children, uh, hanging out with my wife. Uh, I feel refreshed as I go into this upcoming week, uh, this new month that we're in. And I hope you guys and gals feel that too. I hope you feel the energy of this new weather coming in. Uh, the, the sun is shining finally in Idaho. Uh, well, at least it is in Pocatello. Um, you know, you people in Boise are probably feeling it you know, for months now. Uh, but, you know, I hope you guys, you know, are feel, feeling this renewed sense of energy and, and vigor uh, that, that's upon us. And uh, if you're not, that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today. Um, so I know in the past I've talked about, hey, you know, sometimes you need to change things up to kind of feel that renewed energy uh, enter your soul and enter your body at times. And so I got off all of my uh, business podcasts and and business books and stuff like that. And I, and I went through, I believe it was about 16 novels from the middle of February until just, I finished the last one uh, this morning, I think just going to the gym. And I said, you know what? I think I'm good with the novels for, for, for a while now. Let's get back into the business stuff. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, listening to those novels. And I obviously I haven't finished the series yet, but I feel like, okay, I've had enough and I need, I, I, my, 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 my brain, my soul, uh, I, it needs, it needs some, some of that business and, uh, that, uh, the mindset that, uh, that advice and that, uh, that category that I need. So I went back to my Ed Milet podcast this morning. I was just doing some cardio on the, on the old elliptical, this morning, and uh, I tuned into the, his ep- episode with Matthew McConaughey, and uh, he was talking about one of his books that he wrote called Green Lights. And so now I have a book uh, that I, I have on my list that I need to read now. Uh, my wife uh, recently read it, and she was telling me how good it was. So they were talking about green lights, and and uh, the the, perp- the the premise of this book was, what are you doing in your life? that gives you green lights you know what 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 lights you up what what lets you you know accomplish you know greatness within your life um and what lets you have you know those type of days that you're like man you know i just feel fantastic things are going my way and i'm just i'm just swinging you know and i'm just i'm just moving so and I started to think to myself, you know, what are the things that I do um, when when I feel that way during the day? Like, man, I I, I can accomplish anything. I can climb the top, the tallest mountain uh, within within the business world. At times, I just feel like I can, I can accomplish that with my mindset, uh, my body's in tune with my mind, and uh, 
things are just I, I, I see that the green lights, I'm just catching green lights as I go throughout that day. And for me, I, it all really starts uh, getting up in the morning, getting up early in the morning. I get up, you know, and this is not for everyone. This is just me. You guys have your own, you know, set of green lights that you're going to hit. But for me, I, li- I like to get up around five o'clock in the morning. Uh, I get to the gym uh, early I like, and that's just my time. That's me time. That's like my time to be selfish with, with uh, the time that I'm at the gym. That I'm, I'm literally just focusing on me, and I'm getting the endorphins going, um, and I love that time. So I get done with the gym, you know, maybe I hit the sauna a little bit, uh, which is which is great, you know, get your stretching and all that kind of stuff. And uh, as I go home from the gym. You know, I, I, I either am reading something uh, that kind of fulfills my spiritual side of things um, or I'm listening to a spiritual uh, uh, a speaker or a, a, a talk that just kind of helps me with that side that I need quenched. And then at that point, I, you know, obviously I get, get showered up because I'm, you know, I'm stinky as the, at the gym. Um, but before I, I guess I, I, before I do that, though, I do these breathing exercises I've talked about maybe in the past, uh, Wim Hof, you know, if you haven't, have you, have you haven't read the book, what doesn't kill us? You need to, but it's, uh, it's a fantastic book, but Wim Hof has these, uh, series of breathing exercises that you can find on YouTube and he'll walk you through these breathing exercises, but it makes me feel fantastic. Uh, feel, it makes me feel even more alive. Go on to the shower, shower up the end of the shower, turn it straight cold for about two minutes or more. I'm just sitting in the cold water and I'm just, <laughs> you know, you're going to think I'm nuts, but I love it. You know, I love uh, that, that rush and that, uh, that freezing water hitting me, especially, in the, especially in the dead of winter, because that water is cold coming out of the pipes in the dead of winter in Idaho. Uh, these people in the other States don't understand, you know, their, 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 their water being piped in their house does not get as cold as Idaho water. So I, I get that, get out the side, you know, I, I get ready, go to work. And I just feel alive. I feel phenomenal. Uh, I check my emails twice a day. Um, I have a kind of a, a, a routine I, I I'm in that I, you know, it's not like a rigid routine, like eight o'clock I'm doing this and the, the nine o'clock I'm doing this. There's days that I feel like, Hey, I need a little bit more structure because my mind is feeling a little more scrambled today. So that's when I'll put, uh, time tracking in place and I'm like, okay, I need to get X, Y, and Z done today. So I have to track things so I don't get, you know, sidetracked and then I'll, I'll put that in place. But what I do have happen for myself is I have a spreadsheets set up for with like four different tabs of the um, entities that I'm uh, in charge of. And each one of those tabs have uh, tasks that I need to get accomplished within this, that upcoming week, this week that I'm in. And I am literally responsible uh, and accountable to myself. So then the week I have to say, Hey, did I accomplish that task? No, I didn't. And I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to put that back down to the following week. Um, So doing that has really helped me keep my mind clear because I'm putting it all out there. Uh, It's, it's all out there because in the past I'm, I'm like, man, I have, for these different companies that I'm trying to manage and run. And, and they're all, you know, a lot of them are, you know, up and coming and, and, and pushing forward, but sometimes they can get lost, you know, certain tasks and get lost in the minutia of, of all the things that have to happen right now. But this is a, a way for me to keep things clear. And that's this structure of my day and this week has really helped me to catch those green lights. So that's what was, um, Interesting this morning as I was listening uh, to this podcast with uh, Matthew Mah- Mah- McConaughey and Ed Milet was now I've got to read this book, apparently. And uh, on top of all of this, you know, as I go into the weekends, at times I'll like let my guard down a little bit with how I'm eating because I've, I've been eating well. I've been eating healthy. You haven't noticed my, my face has slimmed down a little bit if you're watching my videos. I'm about 70 pounds down than where I had been uh, from a year ago. Uh, so I've been eating healthier. 
I've been doing a lot better. So, but on the weekends, I'll slip once in a while. I'll eat some junk food and stuff. And Monday morning, I'll feel groggy and, and, and gross. I go to the gym. And I just started thinking about that this morning about green lights and, you know, catching those green lights during the day. And, and you know, I'm just like, if I want to be catching those green lights and, and, and beating that, uh, the other competition to those green lights, I can't be doing that, you know, throughout the weekend, especially on Sunday nights and stuff like that, because I, I got to be alert and ready Monday morning. Um, so now I'm like, okay, I've got to start cutting off the sugar and stuff because it does not make my body feel good. So what are the things that in your life that's are, that are helping you, well, help, you know, helping you to catch the green lights and they're restricting you from, uh, catching the green lights. So those are the things you need to be thinking about this upcoming week or is there, are there friend groups that you have? that you socialize with that are keeping you from those green lights? Are they keeping you from those visions that you, that you uh, see for yourself? Because there's people that if they don't catch the same vision that you have for yourself and what you know, you can accomplish for yourself. They're very good at saying, no, stay, stay at this level where we're comfortable at. You're, you're nuts to try to accomplish what you're thinking about accomplishing. That can't happen for you. No way. And they're very good at bringing you back to their level. So if that's the case, get away from those type of people and find another group of people that are going to push you and pull you up to their level and keep and keep pushing you even above them if it, if it, if it needs to be. So uh, I've got great people around me and uh, we celebrate each, other, each other's wins. We, you know, we, we help each other when, when there's a, a learning experience or a failure that happens to us. Um, I, I hate, you know, to call them failures because they're, they're, you do learn, you know, so they're not, they're not really failures. You, you do learn from those uh, situations that you find yourself in. So that's one thing, you know, if you, if you find yourself in those situations and those, and those groups, if you just, you know, I can't step away because every, every weekend they're wanting to party and they're, you know, they're wanting to get, you know, they're getting, they're getting wasted every weekend and you're trying to accomplish these things. And they're trying to bring you back down to their levels, which whatever. But if if it's if it's really getting in your way, you got to find another group. So that's that's one thing to think about. If there's other things that you're uh, that you're dealing with, put those in a list and start stepping away from those things. And then also put the good things on your list that you realize, wow, when I'm doing these things or when I'm eating these foods or when I'm uh, putting these things into practice, I, I definitely see that I'm catching these green lights. So we'll do that more, make those things happen more in your life. Cause that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, anything I'm talking about in this podcast, guys and gals are the things that I've, uh, learned from, uh, had those, you know, failures or learning experiences, uh, with and, uh, or have had success with. So, I don't, I don't try to tell you anything that I have not had experience with, but, uh, I hope this can be helpful today. I hope this is, uh, this is going to be, uh, a, a contributing, contributing factor for you guys this upcoming week. So stay out there, stay grateful, uh, stay passionate for what you guys are out there trying to accomplish, stay happy and go out there and try to serve one another until next week. Adios. Congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Idaho business community. If you're feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are.